and we are back with the fourth segment of the GSMC Basketball Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. And in this fourth segment, we are going to be looking at the NBA power rankings going into this week. Um, but first, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the power rankings from last week, just so we could see exactly what was changed and which teams are where. So I'm just going to go ahead and ship this over. Yep, we can go ahead. So obviously, as you could see from the major spoilers of these headlines, Denver has not changed whatsoever. And honestly, I didn't really expect them to change going into um, going into this week. Even after the loss to the Dallas Mavericks and Kyrie Irving's ridiculous game winner. Because while it was a crazy sh- like it was a crazy shot. Like, there's not really much that needs to be said. Because if Kyrie didn't hit that ridiculous shot, they would have got into overtime. It's not something that I think they should be upset about. Because if you see the sh- if you saw the shot, and I'm sure a lot of you saw the shot, I don't know what what answer would you have for that. Like, it was literally a skyhook from the free throw line, and it was contested by their tallest player. There's literally nothing else that could be said other than, like, you tried your best. Like, granted, maybe Jamal Murray shouldn't have taken the shot going, like, early into the shot clock because there was still five minutes, five seconds left. But there's, that's not something that you can really control. Kyrie hitting that ridiculous shot. No one expect. I did not expect that shot to go in. It was ridiculous. But I really think, I think the, the one and the two in the power rankings, so Boston Celtics and the Denver Nuggets, they should not change whatsoever. Those two teams are clear-cut the best teams going into, um, going into this next week. The Thunder, I did not like how they were ranked number third. I really think they should have been ranked probably a little bit lower than what the Bucks are right now. I also did not expect the Bucks to be so high in the power rankings from last week. So I f- really think that the Bucks should remain... I mean, granted, with how they've been playing now, I think the Bucks should be in the fourth spot, and they should stay, like, they should stay in this fourth spot. Now, the next team under, the Clippers, yes, this is, I feel like this is a good tier for the Clippers right now, because there have been some games where they don't have James Harden, and then they're like, it's like, it's on and off with James Harden sometimes, and they still don't have Russell Westbrook coming off of the bench, so with that in mind, it's like, I think five is a good spot for them. Next next team on this list is the Timberwolves. I think the Timberwolves maybe maybe they should flip flop with the Clippers. Now that I think about it, the Clipper the Clippers should be six and the Timberwolves should be fifth. Then the next game on this list is the New the Pelicans going at seventh. I actually agree with this. Like this this Pelicans team is sort of they're up and down, but recently with Zion like at the helm, they've really been hammering down on oppositions, and I really think that they're going to make a nice playoff run. The Cavs, they should not be in this. They should not be in this uh, in the top ten. I don't think they should be in the top 10. Phoenix should be should take their spot right here. And the Mavs should go should move up to 9th over here. And the Heat should move all the way down. That is all that is a fact. The Heat should move down 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 to like the 15th spot at least. They should move that far. And then let me see what other teams could the Knicks the Knicks should be in the top 10. That is a team that should be in the top 10 without a doubt. Take Cleveland out of this spot right here, bump everyone else up, and then put the Knicks over in 10. That's what I think the power rankings should look like. But let's go ahead and dive right into these power rankings and see exactly what we have in store. So obviously we know that number one is going to be Denver because that's what they exposed to us in the beginning. Now looking at the, again, they just lost, they lost to the Mavericks that previous that previous game on a crazy shot. But before that Mavericks game, they were 11 and 1 in all of the games that they've played since All-Star break. And that's something that should not be underestimated when talking about Denver and how great they are. And they also hold the number well right now they're third in the standings, but they used to hold the number 1 spot after before that loss. So but again, I still think that this Nuggets team is the best team in the West. They are the um, the team to beat. They are the team that has the most experience, and they do have the best odds of winning. So they could go back to back. The Denver, um, the Boston Celtics, again, best team in the Eastern Conference. 
no surprises that they ended up being so high on this list and they ended up not changing spots. So now let's see if the, the Thunder end up changing. Nope, the Thunder stayed the same. I somewhat understand that because again, the Thunder, they are right now they are the best team in the West. They do have the best record in the West, even though the games are separated by 0. 0.5. But still, I just don't have I just don't really have that much faith in this team. I don't understand why. It's just they end up losing a lot of these big games that I really feel like they shouldn't. Well, they lose a lot of like the the meaningless games that I just don't feel like they should be losing. And I don't get it because, again, they, they lost to the Pistons at one point. They lose to all these mediocre teams. And the argument for them is like, okay, well, they're not going to see these teams in the playoffs, so what does it matter? I get that. But at the same time, like, no. That's not, a good, that's not really good logic to have when you're looking at the number one team in the Western Conference. Next... The Bucks, they they stay at fourth, like how I said that they were going to stay at fourth. So they they've really they've sort of they've definitely got it rolling a lot better than what they did at the start of the season with Doc Rivers. But again, this is Doc Rivers. It's not going to last. They're going to go into the playoffs and they are going to lose. I'm sorry. I just do not have faith in Doc Rivers. He does not make any kind of adjustments. You could hear this from all the players that he's previously played with. They all say he doesn't make in-game adjustments. Now, next team on this list. Oh, I was right. The Minnesota Timberwolves, they flip-flop with the Clippers. So I think the Clippers are going to end up going um, a little bit lower on this tier, ending up going at the sixth spot. So let me just go ahead and see. Oh, never mind. Excuse me. The, the Pelicans ended up moving up a spot, going into the sixth spot. So then the Clippers, they should be right after them, right? Okay. I mean, I was half right. <laughs> I will say I was half right. I'm going to give myself credit for that because I did say that the Timberwolves, they should be in this fifth spot. They've been winning while they still are lacking Carl Anthony Towns. And recently, Anthony Edwards, he just baptized John Collins. Like, you should see that highlight. Good Lord straight up baptized him and like i said earlier this new pelicans team with zion like zion is very interesting he was the most hyped up prospect going into going into the draft and now ever since then he's been like a little bit of a joke and everyone talks about his weight stephen a smith is notorious for talking about his weight saying that he ate a table <laughs> and it's like he is one of the best athletes and one of the best finishers around the rim that I've ever seen. He is a super freak athlete. I really hope he succeeds with this team. But that's my personal opinion on this. Now, let's continue on with this list. So we know the Clippers. I say... Dallas. Called it. Dallas is going to go up in eighth. So that means the Suns, they should be ninth. Hopefully the Knicks are tenth. So let me go ahead and see uh, the Suns. Yep, Suns are ninth. Um, nailed it really nice. Um, Knicks going on, going on. Knicks. Ugh. The Cavs are still over the Knicks. I do not agree with this whatsoever. This Cleveland, the reason why I don't agree with this is because, putting my Knicks bias aside, the Cleveland Cavaliers, they have not done anything to their roster to get better. The Knicks, on the other hand, they did do something to their roster to get better. And when there's, oh, I don't know why it did that, excuse me. There we go, that's a lot better. But the Knicks, they did something to their roster, and they added a bunch of more players that fit their play style, and they fit everything that they need in this team. And given the fact that the Knicks beat the Cavs in order to get to the second round, with the team that they previously had, and they've only gotten better since, and the Cavs have not changed whatsoever, it only makes sense that the Knicks are ranked higher than them. Maybe they're directly below them. Let me see. Yep, called it. The Knicks are directly below them. I do not agree with this whatsoever. They should flip-flop completely because the Knicks are still winning games, and they don't even have their second-best player in Julius Randle. And they also d had to play a lot of games without OG and Anobi. So with this in mind... Why aren't they ranked higher? This does not make any sense to me. But 
but I digress. Now, looking at the standings, mm, that's probably why, because in the standings right now, the Cavs are ranked are a higher seed than the Knicks. But regardless, like, I mean, I get that they're the Knicks and all that, but they aren't playing, they're, they're playing with like an injured team. So the fact that they're still winning games, I think is a lot more impressive, but that's just me. Maybe the next team on this list is I wanted to say the Orlando Magic, so that way I could do the song, Orlando Magic, but no, it's Miami Heat. That's not the Florida team that I wanted in that. Like, why the Heat? Why do the Heat get so much hype? I really don't understand why the Heat gets so much hype because of playoff Jimmy. I really don't. They should not be ranked 12th. They should be down all the way to 15th. Why are they ranked higher than the Kings? That does not make any sense. Let me just go ahead and look at this. The Kings are six in the in the rankings, right? And the Bulls are eighth. Now, the Bulls are playing in a lot of, in a much easier conference. The Kings are not. The Kings are playing in a much tougher conference than the the Heat. Why are the Heat ranked higher? I don't agree with this whatsoever. Like it took a Bam Adebayo buzzer beater to beat the Pistons. Like, seriously? I don't agree with that whatsoever. The Pacers, they have not moved whatsoever. I really think they're going to stay in that sort of mid-tier because, again, elite offense, perfect offense, everything you could ask for, really bad defense. Now, let me just go ahead and keep going. There it is. There's number 15. Orlando Magic. Orlando Magic. I love that song. But And I also really like the team. Paolo Benchero, he's... Obvious, he's arguably one of the most underrated players that this league has seen right now. He gets zero media coverage, and it is criminal because he's a fantastic player. Like, obviously, like I don't think he's on the same level of like superstars yet, but he's sort he's getting there. And the fact that the Orlando Magic are the fifth seed, no one expected the Orlando Magic to be so high. So, Orlando Magic. Orlando Magic. Golden State is 16th. I don't understand why they're ranked higher than the Lakers. But I digress. That's that's just dumb. I don't think, yeah, exactly. The Lakers are directly under them. I think that's, that is not a good ranking whatsoever. And let me just go ahead and look at the time. We could still do a little bit more. Why not? Yep, that's where the Sixers belong. They honestly belong a little bit farther down in like the 20th. And I've been saying this previously, but that's sort of what they... Without Embiid, that's where this team is. Houston, I mean, they've, they've gotten better. I mean, you know, Jalen Green going... I mean, they lost Sengun. Jalen Green was having a great was having a great week, which is probably why they ranked all the way... Like, they moved up one spot last week. They were ranked 20th, and then now they're ranked 19th. And then after that is the Chicago Bulls. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the Bulls, they're a little bit weird because they still don't have Zach Levine, but they're still like they're still a little bit okay given the fact that they don't have Zach Levine. 33 and 35 is their record. They look like they're going to make the play-in spot and go up against the Miami Heat going into the playoffs. Actually, wait, no. They they're actually looking like they're going to match up the Hawks. Excuse me, I read that wrong. And then potentially match up against the Heat. But I mean, this Bulls team, it's, it's not, there's not really much that needs, to really, that needs to be talked about with this Bulls team. Like, they have a roster, and it's a good enough roster to compete. They just, they just can't make them. Uh, <laughs> Crucial PG in the chat. Where are my Detroit Pistons? Uh, let's see. Let me, just, let me just go right ahead and... Mm, oh, I, I skipped it. Yep, 29th. They moved up one from 30th all the way to... Makes makes sense, right? So Crucial PG wanted to see the uh, the rankings for where Detroit is, and Detroit's ranked number 29th. I think this is like the first time that they've ever moved up in the rankings, and the Wizards are directly below them at 30. Makes complete sense. Both of those teams are atrocious. They're not good, and it makes sense. All of these other teams are also bottom feeders. They're not good at all. The Raptors, they've completely fallen off without Scotty Barnes. And uh, 
Brooklyn Nets, they're 23rd. Makes sense because we have a terrible coach. We do not have a very good team. Mikal Bridges has also fallen off a cliff, it seems like it, and I don't <laughs> Crucial PG in the chat is going, let's go, because, like, yay, they're fine. The, the Pistons are not the worst team in, in the NBA anymore. And honestly, like, they weren't. They, they were in arguments for being the worst team all time, and I think those were kind of absurd. Like, that, people were a little bit harsh on the Pistons, and I honestly, I really didn't expect the Wizards to be this bad. Like, the Pistons, they weren't a surprise to me. The Wizards, they were much more of a surprise, because how do you, sti- how do you end up having a worse record than the team that literally just broke the record for most consecutive losses in a season? I don't understand how a team can be can be that bad. I really don't. And it's all starting with Jordan Poole. It's literally all of Jordan Poole's fault. They're giving him all of this money for him to not play defense and not even play his best offense. I'm sorry to say, but it's like that's sort of that's what he is. He doesn't play defense. He's lazy on there and he's a walking highlight reel. Now, I it might come off as a little bit of heart a little bit harsh. But that's the impression that he gives off. He doesn't pay attention to the coaching suggestions. He just goes out there and he, like, tries to get a highlight and tries to, like, cook whoever's in front of him. He almost tried shooting the basketball on the ground. Like, what is that? Like, his his rear end was literally sitting on the ground and he was contemplating on shooting the ball. I've said this before on previous podcasts, but it's like, what is going on through your head other than yourself, yourself, yourself? Like... Does, it's not winning basketball, and it really gets me upset when players like him, who have that talent, aren't playing winning basketball and aren't mature enough to realize that now is the time for them to be playing winning basketball. Like, I think I'm more mature than him, and he's older than he's older than most of the people that I know. But but I digress. I mean, again, he's in a situation that I'm not, so maybe shouldn't be talking this harsh on him. But still, that mentality is not something that you should be having, especially when you had the reputation of being the second splat, the third splash brother. It literally got to his head. But with that, those are the power rankings out of the way. Um, didn't really need to touch up on much, simply because it's like things that we expected going into the power rankings. I called a lot of them, so not really that surprised. I don't think that the power rankings are going to change from this week going on to next week. But we'll go ahead and see, because this entire week, going to be all March Madness. I'm going to be, I'm going to be watching the game from 640 all the way up to 9. That's going to be great. And, but with that, tune into these games. They're definitely going to be fun. And that is it for the show. And that's the, that's the only time that I have. Thank you so much for tuning into the GSMC Basketball Podcast, presented by the GSMC Sports Network. Your support means a lot to us, so please remember to subscribe to the show. Leave a positive review. It really does make a difference. We also invite you to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for more content and updates. And as I said previously, like in the first and the second segments, I'd like to remind everyone to please use the link in the description below to tip and to donate or the link that is displayed below the ticker on every show segment. That is gsmcpodcast.net really helps the show and like i said earlier that thank you once again i am your host nelson and as always take care let's go i wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow feel like it's gonna be a bad day yeah, i'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet damn ain't